Hi, hello, Janice. Welcome here. Thank you for your time today. Hello, Sabine. Good Hi. to see you. Hi. Uh, so you are a member in Animal Art Club. I would like to ask you some questions. All right. Uh, my first question is, so uh, my, may you tell us some words about yourself? Who are you? Where are you from? Okay. Um, I'm a nurse for about 40 years. I retired about nine years ago. And I live in the United States in the state of Colorado. And I have a 200 acre ranch in the mountains of Colorado. And I also spend a lot of my time helping with my little four and a half year old granddaughter. So, so lovely. I hope to get her interested in art as well. So, yes, of course, that would be amazing. <laughs> I, I hope <laughs> my daughter also loves drawing. She's seven and now says she would like to to also be an artist later. We will see. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Elizabeth likes to draw a lot too. So I'm hoping that we can get her interested. So amazing. Uh another question is where were you with your art before you joined Animal Art Club or before you did my drawing lessons? What was your art li look like before? Okay. Um, well, I've always liked to draw and do art kind of things. Um, but I never felt like when I did animals, I mean, I loved animals, but I never felt they were realist, you know, specifically realistic, I guess, like we make them with your class. Um, I've painted in oil and watercolor and acrylic, um, a little bit of acrylics. Um, but last year I took a portraits in oil class online and was very happy with the results. I did a portrait um, of a gal in oil that I, I'd never done that before. Yes. And that was the first online class I'd ever done. Well, then I found yours and um, I love animals and I loved your animal portraits. So I decided to try it as well and have just fallen in love with the whole process and the media and all. It's been great. <laughs> So cool. That's really amazing. So uh, what are the three things you like best in Animal Art Club in the membership at the moment? Well, the fact that you have the tutorials and I can do them from home um, whenever I have time or whatever, I can, you know, pull up a tutorial and work on it when I have some time. Um but I don't have to go any place or be any place any specific time was one thing that I really have enjoyed about um, your classes. Yeah. Um, your instruction is absolutely fabulous. You do such a great job. You're so precise and so detailed. And if people will just follow along with what you're doing, you can definitely teach them how to do this. And um, I love the media. I'd never worked in pastel pencils before, but of course with oil paint, you have to deal with the paint and keep it from drying out and, you know, all that kind of stuff. With pastel pencils, I can just get up and walk away if I need to and come back whenever. And that's another thing about this. And like I say, it was a new media to me, but I've absolutely loved it. That's great, exactly. So you can really work when you want with pastels, no drying needed. Great. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, that you enjoy the medium and that you like the lessons. Thank you for uh, telling me that experience. So uh, what uh, has changed for you? Where are you now with your portrait or what success could you achieve so far? Well, um. It's really changed my ability to successfully draw realistic animals. Um, I mean, that's been a whole 110% turnaround, really, for me to be able to do it like you do and, and with your instruction. It's been just fabulous to be able to be that successful. And it's given me the confidence to be successful with that. Mm -hmm. And... I've just learned how to make the fur look really dimensional and fluffy or the bird's feathers to look fluffy and 
I still need a lot of practice with birds' feathers, I've decided, but <laughs> they are a little I need bit a lot different. of practice with all of it, I'm sure. But yeah. um, no, it's just been great to be able to just bring those animals to life and their eyes. Yeah. I think that has just, if you, I've often said with portraits, either people or animals, if you get the eyes right, you could draw a purple cat wouldn't really matter but if the eyes are right that will really carry your portrait that's so true i also love to draw eyes they are so important in any yeah. artwork and they really bring the animals to life on paper thank you for mentioning that um do you also uh have some artwork to show um i have i um it's been fun as amazing as my friends and family think that, you know, I have done. <laughs> and I got to look it back when I was thinking about this interview for you. And I've only been at this a little over four months now, which kind mm -hmm. of blew me away when I thought about it. I was thinking it's been longer than that. But we started in September. Yes, exactly. You were first yeah. participant in my I Greek course and then joined Animal Art Club. Yes, it's not long ago. <laughs> so the first thing we did after an eight-week course, um, we did all the parts, of course, and then this was my um portrait yes the got. german shepherd you did such an amazing german shepherd. so beautiful <laughs> and i thought i was just thrilled with the way it came out yes totally amazing and then i did um i was totally fascinated by your lion yes so i decided to do your lion great he also uh, is wonderful so really fast so you did such a fantastic job, really amazing. That was fun. That was really a fun one to do. I wouldn't mind um, working some more on another lion, maybe. Well, I've yes. got another one here. I'll show you. Then I did um, your fox. Yes. Wonderful. I love to see your results, too. So it's amazing how you are able to, to bring the animals to life on paper, too, or to follow the tutorials. And then it's so nice to see how all the animals are different and every artist is unique and has its own style. So beautiful. And I love the bald eagle. So I decided to try him. Yeah. And I did pretty good I think on the top yeah. feathers the ones around the neck and the body I need a lot more practice on them I think but he came out really good I love the eye and the beak wonderful yes of course everybody needs more practice and feathers are a little bit tricky but but uh, for uh, you I really love your results so beautiful <laughs> so then I decided I wonder if I have learned enough that I wouldn't have to follow you you know, step by step. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is the one I did all on my own. Oh, your own? Okay. You also lion face. Yes. And wonderful. But Great. What, what, how good. was your feeling? Uh, it's also nice to try something for your own and 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 without following the tutorial, but be a little bit on your own way. Great. <laughs> right. And then my cousin asked me about doing a hummingbird. So this was a yes. quick hummingbird I did just the other day. Cute. Yes. Also beautiful. The colors of the bird. Feathers again. Nice. But when you think about it, I don't think that's too bad for being um, four months in. Just a hair over four months is all that I've really been at this. So yes. to me, that it's says a lot about your instruction. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So it's really fantastic what you have achieved. Thank you for sharing that and showing us also your pictures. Great. So, uh, Janice, what would you say to somebody who is thinking about joining Animal Art Club? I would say if you want to learn to draw realistic animals, you're in the right place. And, you know, Sabine will definitely get you there. Um I've had so much fun doing it and I feel like I've been successful and it's thanks to your instructions. So if somebody's thinking about it, I would encourage them to 
to do it for sure because it's loads of fun and like I said your instruction is fabulous so great thank you so much I appreciate your words and thank you also for your time today and I wish you so much uh, fun and a lot of success with your uh, drawings in future too see you soon and I wish you all well, the thank best. you thank you oh you're welcome <laughs> Bye-bye.